Hello, welcome to our tutorial on using the marquee element on .com. Are you finding it challenging to attract your visitors' attention? Having scrolling text on your website is a brilliant tactic to grab the attention of your website visitors and share crucial information. Go to the desired theme page in your .com account and click Elements. Drag and drop the marquee element to the design canvas. Hover over the element. Here, you can edit the marquee element, container column, and container row. 1. Marquee element Click the edit icon on the element. A customization panel loads on the right side. It has three tabs, content, style, and advanced. Go to the content tab. It contains two sections, marquee and marquee options. Let's go through the marquee section first. On the text box, you can enter the content for the scrolling text. As a next step, you can link the marquee content to any page, external URL, file download, email, or phone number. Use the height option to alter the height of the element for different screen types. Now, expand the marquee option section. Here, you can set the scroll direction of your marquee. Looking to add functionalities to pause on hover or make the loop infinite? We have got you covered here. You can also control the speed of the marquee text. Now, switch to the Style tab. Here, you can customize the typography, text color, and background color of the element. The final tab in this section is the Advanced tab. It has four subcomponents, Advanced, Background, Border, and Visibility. First is the Advanced section. Here, you can change the margin, padding, and width of the marquee for different screen types. Now, expand the background section. Here, you can configure the background parameters of the element in normal mode and the hover effect. Select the normal tab. Here you can set the background type as color or image. Along with that, you can set the radius and box shadow values. Click the hover tab to perform similar customizations. Now, expand the border section. Here, you can customize the border type, border color, and border width for normal and hover modes. The last section in this tab is visibility where you get to hide the marquee element on desktop, tablet, or mobile screens. 2. Container column click its edit icon. A customization panel loads on the right side of the screen. Go to the content tab. Here, adjust multiple column parameters like column width, column gap, alignment, and widget space for different screen types. Navigate to the Style tab. It has two modes, Normal and Hover. Here, you can customize the style parameters for the background and border for each mode separately. Lastly, you can use the Advanced tab to make further customizations on the container column. 3. Container Row Hover over the container row and click the Edit icon. You can customize the content, style, and advanced settings here. Select the Content tab. Here, you can adjust the content width, height, row gap, column position, vertical align, and HTML tag. Switch to the Style tab. It has Normal and Hover tabs. Under each mode, Configure the background and border customizations of the container row. Go to the Advanced tab. Here, you can customize the margin, padding, and CSS parameters. Further, you can configure the responsive and visibility. That is all about the container row. In addition to the above customizations, you can also carry out general customizations like deleting, duplicating, or rearranging the container. Save the changes and click Preview to see the updated design. That ends our tutorial on the marquee element. We'll be back with more helpful tutorials to help you with designing your website using .com. If you have any queries or concerns, please reach out to our implementation specialist or contact our support team for further assistance. Thank you for watching.